Okay, in question number 23, we have to integrate this function. 10 inverse of under root of 1 minus x of 1, 1 plus x. Well, to integrate this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put x is equal to cos 2 theta. Okay, on differentiating, I'm going to get dx is equal to minus sine 2 theta into 2 t theta. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to place x as equal to cos 2 theta, so I'm going to get 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus cos 2 theta. And instead of dx, I'm going to write 2 sine 2 theta d theta. Okay, so as done earlier, this is going to become 2 sine square theta, this is going to become 2 cos square theta, this 2 to cancel out, this is going to become 10 theta. Okay, so this is going to become under root of 10 square theta into minus 2 sine 2 theta d theta. Okay, so this square cancel out, we are going to get 10 inverse of 10 theta. This will be equal to how much? Only theta. So what remains here is minus 2 theta into sine 2 theta d theta. Okay. Now to integrate it, what I am going to do? I am going to apply the formula for integration by parts. This this I am going to take as first function. This is I am going to take second function. This will be equal to first function into integration of second function. Minus differentiation of first function, so d upon d theta of theta, into integration of second function, that is integration of sine 2 theta d theta, and whole integration. Okay. Okay. On integration, sine 2 theta, I am going to get minus cos 2 theta upon 2. This integration of theta is, is going to become 1. Sine 2 theta will again become minus cos 2 theta upon 2. So minus minus becomes plus. So this will be integration of 1 by 2 cos 2 theta d theta. Okay. Now we are going to multiply this 2. So I am going to get theta into cos 2 theta. Okay integration of cos 2 theta will be equal to sin 2 theta so I am going to get 1 by 4 sin 2 theta plus c. We have assumed x as equal to cos 2 theta. Okay, so this means that 2 theta is equal to cos inverse of x or theta is equal to 1 by 2 cos inverse of x. So the final answer would be equal to Instead of cos 2 theta, I am going to write x. Instead of theta, 1 by 2 cos inverse of x plus 1 by 4. Actually, here, here we are going to multiply minus 2 also. Okay. So this minus 2 when multiply, I am going to get only, uh, I am going to get minus 2 here. Okay. And uh, instead of sine 2 theta, I am going to write under root of 1 minus cos square 2 theta plus c and this will be equal to 1 by 2 x cos inverse of x minus 1 by 2 under root of 1 minus cos square 2 theta that is 1 minus x square plus c. This is a required answer. Okay. Okay, one thing more. Well, this is a good enough answer, but we can take 1 by 2 as common also. So this will be equal to x cos inverse x minus under root of 1 minus x square plus c. Okay, this is a final answer after a little bit of simplification which was left. Okay.